To install the single wheel trailer on a full suspension bike, you're gonna need an additional axle. This is gonna replace the stock axle, and this is called the bob axle from Robert Axle Project. As you can see, it has trailer bobbins to attach the trailers on either end. So the first thing we'll do is on the threaded side of the axle, we'll go ahead and unscrew the bobbin. That way we can install the Robert Axle Project axle in the place of the standard axle. So we start by removing the stock axle, simply unscrews out the brake side of the bike. This can be done with the bike in a stand, or if careful, it can be done with the bike on the ground. Once we've removed the stock axle, we can go ahead and replace it with the bob axle. Again, going through from the brake side, lining up the hub. So go ahead and screw the bob axle all the way through. You'll notice on the bobbin, there's a little hole here. That's so that you can insert a five millimeter hex wrench and go ahead and tighten the axle all the way down. You don't want this to be too tight, but you do want it to be snug so that the axle can't back out of place. Next, we'll take our drive side bobbin and simply thread that right on into the end of the axle. Likewise, using our five millimeter wrench, we'll go into the hole and just go ahead and give that a nice little snug. Don't go cranking away. This can be very easy to break. Once we've got the bob axle installed, we can go ahead and drop the yoke right onto the bobbins on both the drive side and the brake side. And just like with the other bikes, go ahead and put the lock in, install our safety pin. Again, we wanna go from the inside out. And then put the cotter pin in to keep that in place. There, our trailer is fully locked into the full suspension bike. So the key thing to remember, on a full suspension bike, you will need the Robert Axle Project Bob Axle to attach the single wheel trailer.